What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. We're going to start off this video with some news that literally just broke today and it's in regards to Klexicon. So you guys may or may not know already but Catherine Burrell who plays Nicole Hot on One on Earth uh, was confirmed to go to Klexicon a little while ago and today I'm going to I'm gonna fail but I'm going to attempt her name, Dominique Porvor Chalkley uh, who plays Waverly Earp. Uh, Today was confirmed to going as well, so we got Way Hot going! <gasps> I'm excited. I'm excited. So Way Hot went to Klexicon last, or well, this year I should say. It was this year. Uh, they had their panel, like they had a Way Hot panel. It was amazing. I didn't get to go and I had to watch all the panels and stuff on Periscope and I was so jealous. So I'm so excited that they're going again next year and I'm going and I'm just, ah, uh, I'm gonna fangirl. <laughs> I'd love to know how many of you guys are planning on going to Klexicon. I would love to meet as many of you guys as possible. But yeah, this is really, really exciting news. Uh, we still got months away until Klexicon next year, uh, but it's already shaping up to look amazing. Amazing. But let's move on to the bold type because I've been gushing about the bold type for like the last, what, couple Les Talks? And I'm gonna keep on gushing about it because I really am loving it. I really am loving it. And I just, uh, I need to talk about it. So, what's the ship name? The ship name is Kadena, right? The ship name is Kadena. So we've got Kat and Adina. Ah, oh, they got together this episode. I just, like the butterflies. The butterflies were real in that moment. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, there were some points where Kat's like, what's the right word? naivety, maybe, um, of, I don't know, of, of, I don't know, different situations frustrated me, um, but, you know, I would probably make the same mistake as her, if I'm honest, um, so <laughs> I guess the frustrations are more, like, directed at myself, and I'm like, god damn it, I would do that too, god damn cat, but, um, I, it, it, I guess it turned out okay in the end, <laughs> She learned a lesson and, and, and she got the girl. <laughs> I just, I adore Adina so much. She's just, she, oh, she's just perfect. I just, oh. It was a great kiss as well. That kiss, oh my God. I just, oh, and the lighting and the, just everything. And it was just, oh. I just, <laughs> It was just, I, I loved it. And I can't wait for this week's episode. Um... There has been some teaser, like, promo pics go out, and it's, I'm, I'm getting excited. <laughs> so again, if you guys are not watching The Bold Type, I do recommend watching it, because I just, it's great. It makes me smile. <laughs> okay, on to Orphan Black. I haven't talked about Orphan Black in a couple Les Talks. Um, Delphine is back this week, which, yay. This week, though, like... The feels, man. The feels are real. Like, the, the the show in general. Like, not just, like, Cassina and Delphine, but, like, the show in general just tore my heart apart. Like, especially this episode. <gasps> oh. How many episodes we got left? So, eight just aired, right? Uh, is there only ten? So, like, we've only got two more episodes to go. And, like, it's all wrapping up. It's coming together. It's just, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I don't want to spoil it for people because I feel like... Like, even myself, I didn't watch the last couple episodes and then I just, like, sort of binged three in a, in a row. I am, like, more of a fan of Orphan Black when I can binge episodes. And I feel like, from the people that I've talked to, that that, is, that happens with, like, a lot of people. They like to binge watch Orphan Black, so I don't really want to spoil too much, in case you guys are like that, but... <laughs> the sun is coming out and I'm going orange. God damn it. I need to change these blinds. But Cosima and Delphine at the end there when they would, I just, I don't, again, don't want to spoil it, but when they were like at the computer and they're just like, <gasps> like, it's just, there was tears, there was giggles, there was just, oh, my feels. <laughs> I, oh, oh. <laughs> it's just, yeah, this season of Orphan Black is definitely... It's, it's, it's turning up. It's turning up. So just a quick couple of things before I end this video. The first thing is I want to talk about, or let you guys know about the LGBT fans deserve better. They uh, posted a year in review of the 2016 slash 2017 year of television. And they sort of um, give like an overview of the stats in regards to LGBT characters 
in TV and, and how this year shaped up. It's a great read. There's a crap ton of stats there. Like, I, I, I just... I'm impressed. I am thoroughly impressed <laughs> with how they did that. But yeah, I wanted to show you, let you guys know if you guys want to go check it out um, for yourselves. And yeah, that link, the link will be in the description to anything else that I link. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to go check out that year, year in review. Next thing I want to talk about is Gal Pals. It's a web series. I started watching it, I think, last week or the week before and I wasn't entirely convinced uh one of the episodes I didn't I I was like oh I don't know but then this recent episode that uh they released this week I was like okay I'm on board there's chemistry I kind of ship them a lot so I thought I would show you guys so point you guys in the direction of the Gal Pals web series if you guys would like to go check that out yeah, the, um, yeah, like I said, the most recent episode, just, I just, uh, the, the, the butterflies. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, like I mentioned last week and the week before, I've released some merch recently, so if you guys would like to check the merch out, there's a link in the description. And as always, I'd like to give a huge thank you, my love, to my Patreon sponsors. We got Sheila, Alex, Marissa, and Corey. You guys are absolutely incredible and help me do what I do. Uh, if you guys would like to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description. I upload my reactions on there along with other stuff, uh, like a weekly re uh, a weekly recommendation list where I post fanfics that I've been reading, YouTube videos that I've been watching. Uh, yeah, that goes up weekly. So if you guys would like to go check that out, <laughs> words are working with me. The link is in the description. But that's about it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>